Vertical and horizontal line. The learning objectives. By the end of this section, you should be able to plot the graph of a horizontal line from its equation, graph of a vertical line from its equation. Find the equation of a horizontal line from its graph and find the equation of a vertical line from its graph. Vertical and horizontal line. What are the coordinates of these points? Minus 6, 4, minus 3, 4, 2, 4 and 5. What is the invariant factor that connects all of these coordinates? What is it that doesn't change about these coordinates? In every coordinate, y equals 4. The x values change, but the y remains at 4. So looking at the coordinates, how could we describe this line? This is the line y equals 4. Any point on that line, the y value will always be 4. And we always label lines. What coordinates are these points? Minus 3, 5, minus 3, 3, minus 3, minus 2, and minus 3, minus 5. What is the invariant factor that connects all of these coordinates? In every coordinate, x equals minus 3, x value is minus 3. Looking at the coordinates then, how could we describe this line? This is the line x equals minus 3. Always label your lines. So plot the line y equals 3. A common mistake is to plot the x lines as y lines and the y lines as x lines. To avoid this, follow this method. Write x and y in a set of brackets, then two brackets under this with a y value of 3. So there's our xy. There's two sets of brackets with something 3 in both of them. So we're going to choose any two values for x, and they should be across the range of the scale on the x-axis. So here, our x-axis, the scale goes from minus 6 to 6. So anything within that range, fairly spread. So we've got the minus 4 and 5. So we've got the coordinates. There we go. Using a ruler, draw a line passing through both of these points, then label the line. And there we have the line y equals minus 3. Plot the line x equals minus 5. Again, write x and y in a set of brackets, two brackets underneath this with the x value of minus 5. There's y, minus 5, minus 5. So we're going to choose any two values for y, and again, it should be across the range of the scale of the y-axis. And the y-axis here goes from 5 to minus 5. So we've got 4 and minus 3. Plot the coordinates. So there's our two coordinates. Using a ruler, draw a line passing through both of these points and label the line. There is a line x equals minus 5. So 
draw the equations for the lines of the equations below. You can either do it on the same scale, just all on one graph, or you can draw a few if you want, depends how crowded it's getting. But remember, don't take shortcuts. Well, we do those brackets with the X, Y, and then the two brackets underneath. If you don't do it, you are likely to make mistakes. It's very easy to get the X and the Y lines the wrong way around. So pause the video now, go through that, and when you've done it, come back and we'll get the answers. Well, hopefully that's fairly straightforward for you. So question one, X equals six. There's our line, vertical line, passing through the point X equals six. In two, y equals five. There's a line, a horizontal line, passing through the y-axis at y equals five. Three, x equals minus five. Again, there's our line, vertical line, passing through the x-axis at point equals minus five. Four, y equals minus four. There's our line, passing through the y-axis at y equals minus four. 5, horizontal line, passing through the y-axis at y equals 2. And lastly, question 6, x equals 3, the vertical line, passing through the x-axis equals 3. What is the equation of this line? Again, a common mistake when answering this que questions like this is to get the X and the Y the wrong way around. So if you always follow this method, it will lessen the likelihood of mistake. Right, X and Y in a set of brackets in their correct order, they're alphabetical. So it goes X, Y. Mark a point on the line and write the coordinate of it of the xy bracket. Mark a coordinate on the line. So what is the x value? It's five and the y value is one. Repeat this for at least two more points. The x value is two and the y value this point x value minus six and a y value of one but which coordinate remains invariant which one doesn't change it's the y value and the invariant coordinate is the equation of the line that is the line y equals minus one again always label lines you may be thinking, well, I can just do this from one coordinate. The reason we do three is if you have made a mistake, if you do it three times, you're likely to realise that you have made that mistake. It's important that we do it probably at least three times. What is the equation of this line? X and Y in a set of brackets in the correct order. That's X, Y. Mark a point in the line and write the coordinates of it under the equation bracket. Here's our point. The x value of that is minus 4 and the y value is 5. Again, repeat this for at least two more points. The x value of this point is minus 4 and the y value is 2. And finally, the x value of this point is minus 4, and the y value is minus 3. Which coordinate remains invariant? It's the x1, and it's the invariant coordinate of the equation of the line. And this is a line, x equals minus 4, and always remembering we always Always plot at least three points on the line and don't take shortcuts. They generally lead to long delays. So 
if you take shortcut and like you to make mistakes and once you've made a mistake trying to correct it will take a lot of time find the equations of these lines so again work through these the last two are no harder but you've got to think about them for a little bit uh, work through these once you've done them come back and check the video uh, check we'll check the answers for now pause the video and then come back uh, line number one x equals five question two y equals two question three x equals minus 5, question 4, y equals minus 3, question 5, y equals 4, question 6, x equals 3, the last two ones hopefully you got them, the equation of the x-axis, it's a line y equals zero and the equation of the y-axis is a line x equals zero so hopefully you got them right uh, if you're not if you've got any problem with any of this video play back again and go for any questions you want. so two more lines that we need to know about The coordinates of these points. We've got five five or minus five minus five minus three minus three two two and four four. All the coordinates are different, but what is the same in all of them? What are all four sets? That's having the y values and the are equal to the x values. In terms of x and y, how could we describe this line? This is a line y equals the y value is the x value will be exactly the same. What order these points? Minus four four, minus two two, three minus three. And five minus five. All the coordinates are different again, but what is the same in all of them? How could you describe each of these sets of coordinates? What have they got in common? The y and the x values are the same, but they have different signs. Oh, slightly trickier than the last one, but in terms of x and y, how could we describe this line? This is the line y equals minus x. So that means it'll be the same value, they'll just have a different sign. So hopefully that video is used to you. Those last two lines, we're not really going to practice them here, but they're just ones you need to be aware of. So, as I said, any problems with that, go back, work through it again until you understand it all.